Now another stellar squad of internationals have returned to Bayern Munich as the German champions gear up for their second game of the still young Bundesliga season. New coach Carlo Ancelotti oversaw a 6-0 win over Bremen in his first league game in charge. Known for his gift of languages, the Italian conducted some of his pre-match press conference in German. However, he spoke in English when asked about the fitness of his squad. Uh, uh, the physical condition of the team is good because we recovered players this week. Uh, we trained well um, uh, with the player that stayed here and uh, also the player that were in the national team um, come back uh, in good condition. They trained well uh, in their national team. Schalke also have a new coach this season, although Marcus Weinzel has poorer memories of the 1-0 loss his side de suffered to Eintracht Frankfurt. The ex Augsburg boss still looking for the right mix. Well, it's not about which of the old or new players are on the pitch, it's about the right mix. The lads have the quality or else they wouldn't be at Schalke. The new boys have quality, we wouldn't have signed them. For me, it's all about forming and developing a team that can fight, that's aggressive, and compact and hungry to win games. We need to find the right balance in the coming days and weeks. Feinzel's side might have to face Bayern's new wonder kid with Ancelotti saying 19-year-old Euro 2016 winner Renato Sanchez could make his debut on Friday if Ichiro Vidal is worn out after his trip back from South America. Euro papers. We begin with the weirdest front cover of 2016 so far. What were you thinking, Mundo Deportivo? But the second mark is pretty explosive for British fans. Milan are willing to part with £50 million for Harry Kane. 